Hey everyone, welcome back to JD Bots. In this video tutorial series, we are going to learn Microsoft Bot Framework SDK version 4 using .NET C Sharp. We have already created so many tutorial videos on this. So this is kind of a refreshing series with new concepts, updates, as well as using .NET 8 version. So we'll be going very slow and we'll be mostly focusing on the basic concepts and we'll do a lot of hands-on. We'll build a lot of chatbots at an enterprise level. Also add some AI flavors to it. So let's dive into it. So what is Microsoft Bot Framework SDK? These are collection of libraries, tools, services that let you build, test, deploy, manage intelligent bots. So that is what you need to know. That's all. SDK means it's a collection of libraries that helps you build your application. In this case, the application is AI chatbots. You can also name them as bots or chatbots. Okay. So what is a bot? Bots are computer programs that helps you automate tasks which are very repetitive and slow. For example, taking a dinner reservation, gathering profile information. So you can automate these tasks so that there is no human intervention is required. These bots can be integrated with various channels where end users can come and interact with it. For example, you can integrate with Facebook, Slack, Microsoft Teams, website, Telegram, Skype. So these are all channels. There are various other channels that you can also use, but these are the main channels that you can integrate these bots with. Also, you can also interact with these bots or chatbots using text, audio, video. Okay. So these are the some of the steps that we take to build this chatbots. So first you have a plan, then you build it, you test the functionality, you publish the bot, you connect the bot to different channels and then you evaluate it whether your bot is successful or whether it can achieve the needs of the end user or not. Whether users are using it to automate their tasks or not. So that evaluation is at the last. So before starting, you make a plan what you need to build. Make a documentation with the features that are required in the bot and what technologies, tools, APIs, third-party services you want to integrate. So you make a plan of that and then you start building your chatbot. Along the way, you keep on testing the functionality whether it is working as expected and after testing, you deploy the chatbot and connect to channels and let users interact with it. Okay, so this is the basic introduction of what is bot framework SDK. Another thing, why do you want to choose bot framework SDK? Microsoft has released various different platforms, tools, and technologies that you can use to build these chatbots. So, currently in the market, we have Copilot Studio. The Previous name was Power Virtual Agents. It's a no-code, low-code platform that is used to build interactive chatbots and you don't need programming skills to build that. Next is HealthBot. It's again a no-code, low-code platform that helps you build health-related chatbots. And finally, we have Bot Framework SDK. We already discussed some of the basic thing it requires complete coding and there are various languages that are supported to build 
the chatbots using bot framework SDK. The most supported ones are C Sharp and Node.js. These two are the most supported languages to build the chatbots in bot framework SDK. The other languages that are supported is Python. And previous to that, Java was also supported, but it has been discontinued. Also, I don't see here one more platform that was Bot Framework Composer. That was also no code, low code platform. It requires uh, coding skills. Uh, it had required coding skills, but uh, uh, for the simple chatbots, you can just drag and drop functionality, add the actions, and that's all. So I think uh, there's no active development on Bot Framework Composer. So that's the product that is not listed here. Okay. So based on the audience type, you can choose the respective framework to build the chatbots in. In this video tutorial series, we are going to choose Bot Framework SDK. And in maybe in the future series, we'll explore the Copilot Studio as well. That's highly in active development by Microsoft. So by the time we complete this series, the Copilot Studio will be much more stable, having a lot of functionality in it. Okay. So let's continue. I think a couple of days back, uh, Five six days back, they have released the latest version as well for the .NET one. Let me see where is that. This is one. So they released this three days back. This is the one. Four point two two point nine is the latest version for bot framework .NET SDK, okay? All right, so see you in the next video.